Welcome to our channel for R programming. In this video, we will show how to create heat map with ggplot2 in R. So we know what is a heat map. So heat map is a grid type map. And with the colors in the field representing the relationship between two attributes of a data frame taken at a time. So in R, if you want to plot a heat map using ggplot2, then first we have to create a correlation matrix for the variable pairs of the data frame. Then we will use a function called melt from reshape2 library to make the data frame the result of the correlation matrix as a long type data frame. Then we can use functions in the ggplot2 geom tile to plot a heat map. So next we will show how to implement these operations in RStudio. So first we load these two libraries ggplot2 and reshape2. Then in this example, we will use the data set called empty cars. Then we create a data frame from empty cars just using four variables, which we want to plot the heat maps for these variable pairs. So we can show the data. So this data frame called data just for the cars, different car models, and with the four variables, MPG, horsepower, DIAT, and Q second. So next, we create a matrix using correlation function. So COR data will create a correlation matrix and assign back to the data. So we just shoot again. Hey, sorry. So this is the correlation matrix for the variable pairs, example MPG with the hot power is about minus 0 0.77. Then we will use the melt function from the relation uh, reshape tool package to make this correlation matrix as a long form data frame. So we should again data one. So this data set is a long form data frame. So say MPG to MPG is one. Horsepower to MPG minus 0 0.76. So because there are four times four variable pairs, so this long form data frame has 16 rows. Each one represents one correlation between two variables. Then we can use ggplot for this data frame. And within the AES, we set x is a variable one, and the y is a variable two, and we will fill with the value. Then plus geom tile function. And we set a labels for the title and the x and the y label we just run. So the result is a heat map with a default setting of the color. So you can see the dark, dark represents the low correlation number and the shadow represents the high correlation matrix within the value pair. Thanks for watching.